Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris, and this is a uh, big block, one of our big block Chevrolet combinations, F2, uh, air to air intercooled, um, 540 cubic inch. Uh, of course, it has all our componentry, piston and rod, uh, our compression ratio, dish design on it, camshaft. Um, these are a, a, a Brodex head, uh, dart block. Uh, Edelbrock intake. This has a CSU carburetor. Uh, this is running on pump gas, 93 octane. It run on 92 also. Like I said, with a, a large air to air intercooler, uh, a, a nice one, quite quite efficient actually. Um, F2 sells the filter on it. Um, this is going to be his street car piece. Um, what else we got here? Um, just a good overall piece. Uh, this is what we're uh, uh, actually listing as our what's going to end up being our uh, 1500 horsepower um, streetcar package pump gas streetcar package um, we can do this in EFI the EFI might make slightly less horsepower uh, but actually we can turn up the boost just a couple pounds and uh, make the same horsepower as what the carburetor version does but anyways let's uh, go outside make a pull on this thing uh, for Mark and uh, we will uh, show you all the numbers. And uh, like I've said on hundred times on other videos, a lot of times the uh, especially the blow through stuff, well, the way the dyno wants to shut the engine down at the end of the pull, and the carburetors work, and they, the well, it, here I'll just start it back up. It'll be uh, flooded out just a little bit. So like I said, that's just real common, especially on the carbureted stuff. It gets a big shot of fuel right at the uh, the end of the pull when the dyno is trying to shut the motor down. Uh, by shutting the motor down is what I'm actually talking about is the, uh, it applies full load, so it tries to take the engine right back to idle, basically. That's all just to prevent it, to keep things from over revving. Um, anyways, here is our uh, that pole right there. Um, this went up to 7100. Actually, the pull before this had actually laid over right at like 7000 RPM. This one it's still climbing a little bit, but I, it, it's torque rolled over around 6100, so that usually means horsepower, even on centripetal, ends up rolling over right around that range. Um, good smooth graph there, good broad flat torque curve. Um, show you the, the peak numbers there. So that's a really nice, solid uh, uh, 1569, 1216 foot-pounds of torque. Um, it, it probably would have gone up just, a, like I said, maybe a little bit more, but it, it was right on the point of rolling over because um, we do have a, you know, a smaller street-specific camshaft for it. Um, real nice power piece here uh, for Mark Manicki. That's who we built this engine for. And uh, let me get the, some numbers here. As you can see, and we uh, started it off pretty low uh, RPM, a little lower than what we normally do. But like I said, it's a street car piece, so we're kind of wanting to see what it was down there. 3,500 RPM, 860 foot pounds of torque. Uh, 4,500 RPM was was a se uh, 1,072 foot pounds of torque, 914 horsepower. 5,500 RPM was 1185 horsepower, or I'm sorry, foot pounds of torque, 1236 horsepower, and 6500 was uh, 1204, 1485. Peak was uh, peak torque was at 6100. You can see that 1216, 
and uh, peak power 1569 uh, pump gas air to air intercooler 540 cubic inch um, I'll show you uh, boost which is actually quite good this is a F F2 I don't remember if I mentioned that uh, unmodified uh, we didn't do any Provolute upgrades to this um, we weren't looking to make any more horsepower with it to tell the truth uh, let's go over here to reports Um, these are fuel flow numbers, brake specific, uh, AFR. The ones that we're averaging these out, the AFRs basically are in the 12 to, uh, we did plug reads on this and it's not really showing this, so, um, but we'll uh, right through our peak torque area, you know, 11, 6, 2 on one side, 12, 3, 1 on the other, so about a 6, 7 point spread. Um, not uncommon, especially depending on how you have tubing coming into the hat. Uh, you see over here, boost was there. We're at 16, 16.62 pounds right there. So 17 pounds of boost, uh, 1579. Um, there's pretty, it's actually kind of bad today. Uh, so it's got a little bit of a correction factor in it. Pretty humid out. Brake specific in the four eights. Uh, yeah, four sixes and at, at the peak numbers and four eights uh, right there at peak horsepower. Um, pretty normal looking stuff, but uh, real nice, real good piece uh, for Mark. And uh, looking forward to him getting this in this car. I'm Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. Have a great day.